So, uh, I was watching SmackDown, and, uh, I'll do the full review with old filthy Tom Lawler, but, uh, I don't know what's going on. How many times have I talked about WWE and I just say, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, you know, they've done this thing with Lacey Evans, and, like, every week they've got the Lacey Evans story, and, uh, I, I was I was actually, I thought it was awesome the first week. Thought it was awesome the second week. Thought it was awesome the third week. And then I did, I did get irritated on week four. Why? Because she has a real story. And it's clearly very hard for her to tell her story. And when she tells her story on TV, it is very compelling. And it makes her come off as a super baby face. And uh, it took, it literally took until the fourth time they did this for me to notice that they sandwiched the reality with their branding. Okay. Everyone, I realized everyone's, you know, I realized everyone ended with the same catchphrase, which is, uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm better than the other women in the locker room, but they damn sure aren't better than me. And I, you know, the first couple of times I was like, all right, well, they're kind of adding this catchphrase. That's everything. That's cool like that. But by the time they do the fourth time, I noticed that they also were branding the beginning. She has to begin the story with, all right, here we go. Everyone! Yeah. Like, I understand the first time, because it's like, man, let's take a deep breath and then tell the story. But literally, that's now part of the branding. She has to take a deep breath and go, all right, here we go. So anyway, I, I it was kind of like, God, can you just let her tell her story without adding your branding to this real story of tragedy in her life? So anyway... They do the fifth one, and in fact, it starts out with, all right, here we go, and then she launches into her story, and uh, this one, this one's talking about, like, drug overdoses, deaths, and suicide, so this is a super heavy one, and then she ends with her catchphrase again, and, uh, you know, she's crying and everything like that, and, and uh, so then, when it's over... They go down to uh, to the ring, and the ring announcer, she's going to bring Lacey Evans in front of the crowd. And I don't remember the exact words, but it was something like, Lacey Evans asks that you stand and show her the proper respect. <laughs> they introduced her, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Hold on a second. Lacey Evans requests that we stand and show her the proper respect. So I was, and then, but she came out and like she waves and she's hugging people and everyone's, and they actually stood and showed her the proper respect. They're cheering and everything like that. But like, then she goes to the back and I thought, what in the hell did I just see? <laughs> what did I just see? Don't even tell me. Don't even tell me that five weeks of a true story of, of abuse, drug usage, overdoses, suicide. Don't even tell me that this is their plan to bring her back as a heel. I can't believe this one. I know. I know what you're all saying. Why can't you believe this, Brian? Why are you so dumb? No, I can't on this one. I can't. There's no way. This had to just be incompetence where they were like, oh, make sure that, you know, the fans are just really nice for this one because she just did these five. It's got to be. It's, this has to think, be incompetence and she's coming back as a baby face. Do you think it was on the ring announcer? Do you think maybe she was, you know, they, they look, we it wanted has to get to be. respect. It, it has, has to, to be. be. That's what I'm saying. There's That's no saying. way. There's no way that these five weeks of storytelling was to bring her back as a heel. It's impossible. This one is actually impossible. <laughs> Oh my! She's another one. Figure it and look. I don't know. No, Brian, it's not on me, everybody. It is not on me. Look, it's not my fault. It's not on me. Let's be honest here, okay? Do you think she's going to remain a baby face? I mean, I don't know. Six months or from now, or end, whatever. That's, that's the thing. But by you the end don't of the do year. five weeks. <laughs> of heart-wrenching stories that, as I was noted when people were emailing me, like, they were all starting with, this is a trigger warning. You don't do that to bring somebody back as a heel. You don't, okay? 
This one is not just, this is, that's wrong, okay? That actually is objectively wrong. You Maybe do not new, do that. Her new gimmick will be trauma porn. That's uh... <laughs> No, no, Dagan, it's not incompetence. This goes far beyond that. This is not typical WWE incompetence. There's no. there's no way that she's coming back as a heel. I can't. I can't do this job anymore. <laughs> I got to quit. I'm going to be like Roman Reigns. So I want to thank all of you listening right now and watching on uh, on YouTube and, and Twitch. But, like, you may not see me again. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, man. No, it is not falling for it. This is not falling for it, okay? Having, like, an actual, like, a, a human soul is not falling for it. It's called being a human, okay? No human... Uh, does what they did for five weeks with the intention of having her be a heel. No. Okay? No. This is not typical WWE. Oh, my God, I can't believe that Roman Reigns pinned... Re this is different. Okay? It's different. Well, it Kurt is a Angle, new phase uh, of my life. Remember with Kurt Angle, they did start him doing the three eyes thing. They thought he was going to be a true babyface, came in against Tiger Ali Singh and all that sort of stuff. And then what they found out was as he kept doing it, it kept getting heat. So then it became just double down on it, triple down on it, really rub in the fact that these three eyes. But uh, a completely different scenario than what they're doing with Lacey Evans. And here's the other thing. Who are the baby faces on and the heels on that side of the roster? You got, you know, Ronda now is your champion. Charlotte's going to be going away. Way. You have what Sasha and Naomi, who are baby faces. I mean, I'd hate to say it, but I, I hope that that's not going to be the the case. Although I can absolutely see it later on down the line that she is going to be a heel. And to be honest with you, too, once these vignettes are over, and I have a feeling that once things kind of like level out and some time goes by, the same people that were booing her before are going to be right back to booing her. I think she's got a. Some of the people are going to love her because of her character and the real life things that she's been through in the military and all that stuff. And there are going to be other people that hold that against her. So I don't think it's forever, brother. Rusty, Rusty Rose, ten four eighty six. <laughs> dusty, is it Rusty or Dusty? <laughs> it's uh, it's Dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. Her, her Herman way, and Blanchett. <laughs> Harwin. Way back then, they had cha chain barricades. <laughs> and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl uh, Rick Flair and some more guys. And so that was that. I'm just too Who, who <laughs> did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.